And hello, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Rising World with yours truly, the Hermit Hood. I'm here inside of Rising World today, and I've gone on ahead and I've tamed a horse because I want to run a test, okay? I'm going to do two different screen recording softwares today, guys. The first one is going to be Open Broadcaster Software, which is short for OBS, and... I'm using that one currently right now, OBS. Now, I normally use Action. Um, let me take a look at my uh, food. Hit Tab real quick. It should bring me up. Let's take a look at our water and our food and all that stuff and things because I really don't have any water on me at the moment. Um, let's munch on some melons or whichever we got. It should be enough to sate us. There we go. We're back up to 100 on each of those. We gotta get some melon. We gotta get some pumpkins and melons going. Those things seem to be really good for our health. But um, if I hit F9, it's going to bring up the FPS with inside the game itself. Okay. Now in some places the FPS will go up really high. So if I look up at the sky as usual within Minecraft, your FPS will go up really really high sometimes it'll hit 30 sometimes it'll hit less then when you look down it goes up or sometimes it goes down but if you start looking at other things it gives you little bits of stuff and things so what we're looking at right here right now what's giving us the one issue real quick is we can see that all of this grass is giving us it's chopping away at our animation all right so if we hit f2 and we look up there's a lot of grass in the world and every last little bit of this is moving okay now we go over towards the trees and we see that the trees these things they move with the breeze and sometimes you get sound effects and other things like that these are the things that i mean just look at the grass guys just watch it move yeah I know it's boring but it's the details of the game that make the game what it is and I try my best to work my way around all this stuff guys so that you can enjoy the content as well um, I'm not gonna there is a way to turn off all of the grass but I'm not going to do that um, I enjoy the game and I want you guys to be able to enjoy it as well so I record mainly with action now if i hop on my horse here and we start riding down the road pay attention at fps what i want from you guys to tell me is which one of these programs do you think looks smoother which one seems a little bit better for recording with and which one seems a little bit off okay so let's go ahead and let's enjoy a little bit of open broadcast software Let's ride forward a little bit. You can see we're going to get a little bit of stutters. FPS is going to go down. It's going to go up. And as usual, yeah, we're going to get some of this stuff and things, guys. We're going to end up with problems. Now, my horse, it doesn't have saddlebags because I have yet to craft those. We can do that today. You can do it. There you go. You can see where the FPS starts to do its thing. Everything is loading in. Now, if we just go right on ahead and just whip our horse around and just start coming back home. Here he goes. I'm sure we could do a little bit more than just racing up and down this for today, guys. But today, I want your opinion. Okay? I'm looking for your opinion. I'm looking for your advice and what you think that you like best. Now, if we look behind us, we should see a nice good dust trail. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That's one of the things I really love about the game is the dust trail that you get from your horse. You know, it kicks up all that dust. And hello, Mr. Goat. Hello, Mr. Goat. It does. It looks great. All right. So you can see automatically as we come into this area, we start to get a little bit of FPS drop. Now, the reason that we start to get a little bit of FPS drop as soon as we move into here. Shut up for a moment. The reason we start to get FPS drop is because 
planks and beams, all right, planks and beams inside of this game, they count as a constructive element, okay? The more of these that you have placed, the, the more of these that you have placed and overlapping, you see how we get this little bit of a glitch here? It goes up, and sometimes it hurts. Well, the more planks and beams and constructions that you have, the more it's gonna hurt your FPS. So I wanna know from you guys, like, all right, we're just gonna walk around here for a little bit. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn on water reflections to show you guys this, all right? So this is what I had turned on before it was water reflections, all right? Now we're gonna see that it doesn't really hurt too much. But if we go and we look at a source of water, like the lake, for example, all right, if I go and hit game mode one or whatever, but we don't have to do that, right? We really don't. There are sources of water going up and down this pool. So now that we got the water reflections on, what do you say we try something else? Also, okay, let's say we added light glare. These are the three that I had checked before we started doing anything else. Here we go. These are the three that I normally always have on. And we're going to ride for a little bit here. You might see your FPS drop out, but that's okay. We'll deal with it. Should be some water sources out here. If we have bring up the end button, let's see here. It's our map. It's just taking a little bit of time to load. Sometimes you got to turn it off and then turn it back on. There it is. And you can see we're nowhere near a water source besides this one. It's right over here and it's got these really nice lakes and ponds and all that other cool stuff. But we do have one right behind us. All right, Horsey, could you please move your dome? Are right, we headed right for it? It looks like we are. Let's see. Aha. So this water source will be right over here. Now, i got to be careful I don't get hypothermia while I'm over here. All right. Let's get off. So let's go look at the water. All right. Now, water quality in this game, it has two settings. I can set it as one or I can set it as two. Right now, it is set as one, so you're basically getting your one, your two right here. And I need to gain some water anyway, so let's go ahead and get some of that. Well, that was not smart. All right. Um... <laughs> let's try that again. Um, We got our first polar bear. And... Our, for, our first polar bear. <laughs> okay, why is there a polar bear coming down and out of the woods after me right now? All right. Um... Let's hide his body. But before we do that, no, 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 no. Let's get a screenshot. Let's get a screenshot of him. There we go. F2. No, not F2. F12. This isn't Minecraft. This is freaking Rising Road. F2. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Didn't even realize I was falling through the world there for a moment. All right, so did we fill our canteen up? No, it's right here. All right, let's fill that thing up. And let's get moving. Right. So what do you guys say we get back to base and we load up action and give that thing a shot before we end up with another polar bear or something that comes out of the woods to uh, try to eat our face, okay? What do you guys say we do that? Let's get this... Let's get our buddy, our new horse, back to base, and yeah, well, our temporary base. We do got a better base than this, but let's just get him back here, and I'm going to hit his 
escape. I'm gonna get off of him, guys. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to exit, guys. Now I'm gonna exit this just for a little bit. I'm gonna load up action, and I wanna know what you guys' opinions are. OBS versus action, because hmm, everything seems to be running a little bit okay right now. But I'll see you guys over in action, all right? Let me know what your opinion is. Okay, guys, I got action fired up, and here we are inside a rising world with the same exact settings as we are before. Video sides is, 10, is uh, 720p with the video frame rate of 30 FPS. Now, if we go ahead, we're going to go ahead and launch up the game again as we have done before. All the settings are the same exact way as they were when we left the game, so... Let's see what we can do. All right. Now, let's see what our difference is. First off, get off of that piece of ground that's given us that bouncy effect. That is a bug that's been in the game for a very long time. And we're still running about the 22, 20, 20 FPS-ish. All right. Well, the FPS seems to be roughly about the same. Not that's definitely different. And we got a we got a pelt. I want to see what this pelt does. How much leather can I get off this pelt? Really, I am truly, I am truly curious about this. You know. We do got a uh, center up here for this, right? Um, no, it doesn't look like we have one. Okay, then let's get up here and let's craft one. All right. <coughs> we need to go to crafting stations. Let's get ourselves a tanning rack then. There you go. We'll just go ahead and drop down. And the tanning rack. Mm, we still need to build backyard. Or preferably a side yard. Eh. This will have to do. Just set it right here for right now. Alright. Let's see how much leather this thing gives us. Oh wow. That thing is beautiful. That thing is beautiful. There are alternatives to the grass that I just thought of that we should have done before. I should have showed you guys this. There are other alternatives. All right, let's see here. If we... All right, well, I didn't want to do that, but okay. Um, we got sticks on us. Yeah. All right, there is a tool. It's called a, uh, let's see here. Let's go to tools. Um, I want a, let's see here. Is it a scythe? Yeah, that's it. We want this. Let's go ahead, put that in there. And let me clean up my inventory some. All right, guys, it is nightfall. I just noticed this. It was turning night. And, all right, you know what? I, I honestly do not think this little scaffolding idea that we did the last episode will even work. But, uh, yeah, I think we do need to uh, come up with a little furnace idea for the inside of the house. Now, one of the pros and cons of OBS versus action is that with action i could pause my recording and i can come back in and that's something that you guys just seen is that i could pause it and i can come right back now another thing is with this right here guys you can pretty much just mow your lawn all right you can cut it down so that it's not as heavy on your computer now, if you cut it twice, it goes down the whole way. But if you just 
give it just a little bit of a cut just once you get this really nice cut to it okay and you could actually get your flowers to stick up like this too anything that you want like you can cut your grass just like this cut your backyard it's actually really neat i've done this before in previous lp and it's one of the benefits that one of the things i actually enjoy about this you can't do this in minecraft you can't um you can place grass you don't have to worry about placing bone meal or anything like that um if we come up closer to like up here where the road is i'll show you guys what i mean but and there you go this is how you find your crops also so if we wanted to build ourselves a little garden which i think we're going to go ahead and do that but i'm going to finish off today's episode with action and i would like to know what you guys opinions are on action versus x split okay now i am going to go ahead and hop on my horse and ride it down just a little bit for you i mean we can go ahead and get rid of that fern because, of course, I'm going to want myself a yard. I don't want it exact. Um... There we go. We still got some tall grass right, right there. There we go. Looks good. It looks good. But I, I would like to have the yard a little bit level. Okay. So instead of just doing this. Because you guys see how this one little spot right here won't do, won't cut through there we goes looks good looks good all right i just want to be able to cut to where i can see where the rock is you know i just want it to look nice There we go. Let's get rid of that. Actually, yeah. All right. So now we got ourselves a little bit of a yard we can work with. Um, we got ourselves lots of grass blades, so we really don't need that. If we need additional grass blades, we could take our sickle and we can just our thing. We could just walk right out here and just, eh, eh. or you could cut your grass with this if you wanted to by hand. <laughs> There's lots of ways you can cut your grass. Um, you could use this if you wanted to, uh, that way you can get the grass blades back and you can actually take these grass blades. Let's see here. Let's hit three and we can walk up to this and say, okay, I want, I want a little bit of grass over here by my front yard. Maybe I want a little bit right here. Maybe I want some over here, a little bit here or there and just to spruce it up just a little bit, you know? And you can just, this is how you actually get rid of the dirt marks also. So we end up with something like that. There we go. So now you can just come right across this and just shimmy it down. Use your, this thing again and just remember just to right click it and there we go you get yourself a little bit more each time you cut it and it just trims it down just to just to that one level that you want it okay think of it as cutting your front yard it's actually it actually works it's nice a um, little bit of a garden you can get as well if you wanted to as you've seen I just probably cut a spot twice there we go now we got this plant right here let's whack that there we go we got ourselves three carrot saplings a couple of spots over here that we really couldn't get to before but this is where your rake would come in handy at you just say okay you know what i don't want this here i don't want that there or maybe you want to knock this down, but you end up with a little bit of a dirt mess, but that's perfectly okay. All right. Remember what I said, just grass blades and you can fix up just yard any way you want. Really good. Really nice. FPS seems to be working out a little bit steady for us as well. 
Um, we we could fix this today. We could fix this going up. Um, I want to fix this thing at least. Before we start doing anything else, let's go ahead. Let's fix this because I like the way this thing looks. And I actually want to turn it around and showcase it, you know, kind of showcase it off. Add a uh, little bit of a, uh, okay, you seen how that just clipped into the wall there? Maybe I want to uh, make a separate tanning area, you know, a separate tanning area, make it look a little bit like it's different, you know? Make it look like it's like a separate area hanging off of this. And you can do your little garden right in here if you want to. Seems, seems pretty cool. You know, it's interesting. It's simple. It's good. It's easy. But let's go ahead and let's do that FPS test, guys. Shall we? Alright, so right now FPS seems to be running up there a little bit. But it's not as bad as it was. Get some food in our belly. Munch on some potatoes. No, don't tell your doctor. <laughs> all that, co all of them carbohydrates. They're bad for your health. You know what they say. <laughs> all right. So let's get on our horse and let's go give ourselves FPS test, guys. All right. So you can see me looking around. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick run around here in a circle. Everything seems to be doing a little bit okay. We're steady, steady at 20 FPS. Everything looks all right just for the time being, for right now. All right, let's run down the road by myself just for a little bit. And I ran out of stamina. Okay, I ran out of stamina. <laughs> well, that's what our horse is good for, okay? The horse has infinite stamina. And this is where the best part of the FPS test can come in at. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's load up our map. And you can see that I was traveling out this way a little bit. We do got this huge lake. And I'm glad that we found this lake because I got some plans for it. I got some plans for that. But for right now, let's go ahead. Let's give ourselves a quick FPS test. And then we'll build ourselves a garden. All right, so the usual is just to run down the road as fast as you can because the gingerbread man is after you. <laughs> pass the goat, pass the lines, and run, run, run. <laughs> Actually, I got crates running alongside the road, guys. It got saplings and seeds in them and all that stuff. Um, I do got a farming district I would love to start. Um, all kinds of cool things, but we do got plants and stuff and things alongside the road. But I want some crops, and I think I have been scooping some up. We just got to find them. There's the three little pigs. All right, yeah, we may have gone far enough. There you go. There's the dust trail. Here's the three little <laughs> pigs. <laughs> One, two, three. The three little pigs, they still have yet to disappear. They're still here. <laughs> All right. Keep your eyes peeled for a crate, guys. All right, let's roll. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right. Um... You know, if the sp if the fly speed wasn't nerfed, I would uh, do that. Aha! Here we go. All right, what do we got in here? We got some melons, <laughs> but all right, you know what? We could take those melons back with us. That's extra food. You know, that gives you all that extra water and stuff and things. We do have a lake, but it's not the best in the world right now. All right, what do we have over here? All right, we got some saplings. We got turnips. All right, we got some cherry trees in here. Nice. 32 birch trees. That'll keep us going for a while. But we got some cherry trees. 
Um, we got some sugar beets. Those are actually good for munching on. Uh, we can go ahead and leave a couple of these melons here. Not exactly what I was going to... And by the way, the road that we're on, we're on Interstate Route 1. This thing runs all the way down to my original, to where my first base is, that we will be getting back to. Um, I'm gonna, this is where I'll go. Yeah, I just jumped over the cow. <laughs> I just jumped over the cow. All right. All right. Um, I'm going to pause, guys, and I'm going to meet you guys back at the base, and we're going to build a garden. How's that sound? All right. Actually, guys, before we go back to the garden, I found what I was looking for. And we may have to start using this. All right, so pay attention to our surroundings. We do got a horse. He's chilling over there on the road. We got an apple tree. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to clear out around this so that I, I can get all of the uh, saplings off of this and be able to find them. Now, having this thing whenever you go adventuring is usually a must-have because you can never have enough apple trees okay you can never have enough apple saplings these things they're good for you but in the plus side yeah eventually we're gonna have to preserve these things and you can only pick them six times so yeah i only see one not sure which direction this tree is going to fall so i want to make a little bit of a circle going around this a little bit of a wide circle so I know which way the logs are going to fall. All right, and let's go ahead. Let's do this. There we go. And it looks like it went this way and my computer is going nuts. How many saplings did we get? We got one apple sapling. That's okay. That's okay. It's better than nothing. Let's scoop up this the trunk. And I'll keep moving my way back to base, guys. No, you're not my horse. All right. See you guys at base. All right, guys. Now that we are back, um, I came in here. I took a nap. Got some stuff and things going cleaned up my inventory a little bit we still got some stuff inside of here um i need a barrel to put some food in so i can get the food inside the house and not ho hoarding it up here on the roof i got a bunch of ores going um let's get some extra wood out of here well i already have some because i was going to craft something with you guys so a couple of things i need to craft up okay we got some sticks on me I do need a little bit of iron. Um, let's see here. Uh, I think maybe it's only two ingots I need for this. Okay. So we're going to go over here. Let's go to tools. We need a stone. We need a hoe. It takes only one iron ingot. That's okay. Let's go ahead. Let's craft that thing up. And this is what we're going to be using for our gardening. Now, that other iron ingot, apparently I didn't need it. Let's go ahead and shove that inside of there. Let's get some extra lumber, crafting. Um, go to resources, get some lumber. Let's just do max on that. And get me a barrel or something for the inside of the house. Preferably a barrel. Let's see here. So, a barrel. Um, I want to do a different color. Stop spinning, please. Let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, that should work. It's a little bit old, it, but it'll do the trick. You know, it'll do the trick for us. Okay, let's get inside the house and let's put this inside there. All right, so I need a place to store my food, but I also want to uh, kind of keep it at the same time. A bit organized. There we go, just like that. All right, so... Now we can start to store some of our food in here because we're going <laughs> to... 
part of me. Sorry about that, because we're going to need to. So anything that we got, like, stacks of, like, stacks on eight of... We got a total of one fish down here, so I'm thinking this might stack. I'm not sure. I'm hoping the fish does stack, or eventually the meat or the... Uh, I'm thinking eventually the meat needs to stack, okay? It needs to start to stack eventually. Think of it as Minecraft beta, all right? You can only carry one at a time. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous, but it works. And it does the trick as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on that. Give me that three. Let's munch on that carrot. Let's get that thing out of our hand. And a sip of water. Let's see here. And don't worry, we are definitely going to munch on that uh, fish today before the episode is out. <laughs> that fishing we did yesterday guys I came in here I put that grill on here and it was fun I cooked it up and I was surprised it actually cooked all right so we made this steel hoe nice all right well now we need a place that we can do some farming all right well simplicity simplicity okay let's say we uh, want a farm here okay just a miniature farm you don't need a big one really you don't and we'll kind of keep the natural curve to it because you can see how it's a little bit natural here let's see here can we get it a little bit more natural to it there you go now that looks a little bit better because you still got you this natural curve to it over here but this side over here it looks a little bit uh, iffy it's different okay and that's a good thing now how are we going to get our crops same way as i was showing you guys before we need to take this and we need to go out and get some crops all okay? right so we found some we found some carrots we got some pumpkin seeds we got an apple tree now we could plant our apple tree um come here this is going to give us cotton seedlings so we can grow cotton if we want to um, cotton is used for a bit making all your clothing your bandages and all that other stuff and it's actually a very important element now okay in survival it's very important to have this so why did that plant two at the same time that is strange we had two of them and it planted two huh. don't know Okay, let's go upstairs and we'll see what else we got. Let's see here, page five. Let's see here, what all we got? We got potatoes, we got carrots, we got pumpkins. Okay, we can plant these. But we also want to find some more cotton plants. And we've seen lots of those things growing up and down the road. So let's see here. We'll do, let's do these ones here because we only have so many of them. All right, that'll be those. Same with these carrots. And I'll put our pumpkins in here. I think I'll put my pumpkin patch maybe about right about here. Kind of space them, do their thing. There you go. And that's about all we have for right now. We can go get more. But remember, I said we do got... Where did I put that apple tree? Where did I put that apple tree sapling? Okay, that's all right. I don't want to go plant an apple tree in the middle of the road. But we do have a couple of apple trees up here. If we need some, we can always come get some. What is this? All right, it's definitely not a plant. All right, definitely do not want to go into the snow biome. And I think I'm going to put my gun on me as a just in case. I want to come out here and see if I can find some more crops. Okay, what do we got here? We got potatoes. Nice. Um, you can harvest these with a uh, sickle. You're just going to get the default flowers with them. You're just going to get four the same exact that you'll get with the other thing we got a white stallion over here really nice beautiful horse that is all right 
this is not a crop it's a weed at the moment maybe it'll serve as something eventually now the best way to find crops i was showing you guys before is to take this and to just go through this area and just clean it out of everything it's going to be a pain in the butt but yeah this right here is usually the best way to find your crops is just to come through here i mean you could go through here and just mow it down but you'll be doing that for the next 12 years uh, which is why i just i usually try to avoid doing that All right, we got ourselves an apple tree. We'll get some cherries. I don't see why not. Do a little bit of exploring with you guys today as well. We got a garden going. But we do need some more crops. So here we go. We got ourselves a... Uh, come on. Here we go. Some more of that. We're looking for maybe some tomato plants. There we go. We got some tomato plants right there. All right, so we got some tomato seedlings. All right, so let's see here. We got two cotton, three tomato, and two more potatoes. Not bad. And we can never lose our way because of the map. Once you craft this thing, you can see, I'll show you guys the road. This thing goes all the way back to my home, pretty much. <laughs> it's a road that I'm working on. It just goes all the way back here. Here's where the nature reserve is going to be built. And over here is where subscriber city is while well, subscriberville is going to be at. And this right here is where the original spawn was. And I'll bring you guys over there sometime. I, I do want to go back there, but not anytime soon. I just want to take a break from it. What is this? Sugar beets. Hey, Mr. Cow, move your otters, please. All right. We got some lettuce. Definitely you want to avoid the woods for the moment. And just grab as many. Stop it. I don't want the grass. And just toss that out on the ground. There we go. We got ourselves a little bit more crops. In this world, it is infinite, guys. It is infinite. So no matter what, it is always infinite. We got some watermelons. There we go. We got some <laughs> watermelon seeds. So we can plant those. Um, that might be enough for right now. Possibly. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go inside of my graphical settings, guys. And I'm going to turn the water reflections and that off. Just in case you guys are getting the uh, little bit. You can see my FPS did go up some. Not too much. And I'm going to work my way back to base. Which is over this way. It's not too far off. And then we're going to go plant the rest of these crops that we do have for right now. Put what we can away. Um, it looks like we got some rainy weather moving in. Um, we want to be able to stay warm, keep, ooh, what is that? Yeah, we got some rainy weather moving in and we need to get back. Because my computer isn't built for the rain. I usually just turn it off. But we need to get back. Like now. Pumpkin, pumpkin seeds. Right, let's go. Let's do this. Get back. Get back home. Before the rain starts to come. Oh, we had seeds right here. Potato seeds. All right. We're doing good, guys. Let's get in here before it starts to get too bad. All right. Let's clear this stuff out. Let's get the rest of these things planted up. Brand new subscriber today also, guys. We're up to 189 subscribers. We're going to have to uh, swing by our spawn sometime and uh, 
update our subscriber sign. Tomato seeds, these things are really good. All right, so I'm gonna plant my tomato plants like right over here because, because I want to. Those things are really good. Oh, these things are delicious. All right, what do we got? We got some sugar beets. Let's plant a couple of those. One, two. You can see the sprinkles starting to come down. All right, let's get, let's see. Where, there it is. All right. Our lettuce. Um, what, what do we got here? What is this? Potatoes. Um, where did we plant these before? Don't know. Don't know. I'm not worried about it. Just plant these. Oh, wait. We had one more left. Oh, that's the edge of the world right there. That must be the edge of the chunk. Okay. All right. Let's plant these. And then we'll get our melons planted. You know, we need our melons. And it's getting dark. And we're going to need a sleep. Oh, yeah. All right. Melons. I guess we could place beside the pumpkins. We'll just, like, set them off in the middle. And get our pumpkin seeds. Get, get those things down. There we go. One and two. Haha. -ha. There we go. So every time we do this, we can come over here. We can sickle two of them and pick up the other two. And we should be able to have four every single time. The same with the melons. So we need a little bit more melon seeds for right now. But we're still good. So look at this, guys. Just look at this. This looks good. This game is wonderful, all right? It is. Really, it is. It's, not, it's really nice. And what you see right there, that is my headlamp. Because if you look at my character, he's wearing that headlamp on himself. And, yeah. For some reason, it doesn't work. It's not directional. It's not like a flashlight. It just lights up your vicinity around you within a specific area. But, yeah, this looks good. Now, a tip for screenshots, if you're new to this game, guys, come into the game and just bring up the console with the uh, tilde key, hit the HUD, type in HUD, and then type hit F12. And then we're going to bring in that up again, type in HUD again. That brings it back up, and then you can hit this and you can save and exit your game or whichever adjust your settings or anything i can adjust the wind and shut all of this stuff off but i love it it makes the game look wonderful but guys that's going to be it for today uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this um let me know what you guys think action or obs which one do you prefer because i'm I'm like, uh, I kind of, I kind of like using action. I do. I kind of like using action. Uh, I did turn off of those settings. So you can see we can turn this off and hit back. There we goes. And I don't see what that does. I honestly do not see what that does. Just look at that grass. That's mesmerizing. <laughs> that grass is so mesmerizing the way it moves <laughs> I wish I could turn it down the, how off how the frequency of how often it moves because it's mowed grass for crying out loud it shouldn't move like it's an ocean but I guess I guess that's the way the animations work this thing right here it does have to go. Um, it just eh. stop. <laughs> just stop. <laughs> it just didn't look right where it was. But uh, I'm gonna end the episode, guys. Be sure take care. Let's go ahead. Let's munch on this fish. 
Oh, yeah. We got some salmon. And we're off to bed. And I will catch you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a wonderful day. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more episodes like this inside the glitchy house of glitchy. And I'll catch you guys next time. See you later. Bye-bye.